Hi everyone, this is size 12 uh, Sedge Hawk and the thread I'm going to be using is block 8060. I'm going to start below the eye and use touching turn. This is basically a winter gray, uh, river pattern for uh, catching brown trout and grayling. So, and made with a copper body, basically represent a uh, Caddis larvae, or you can call another one of the variation of uh, brassy, and then come back, use touch and turn, basically. What I'm trying to do is create a bit thicker body in the middle. And then go back. Make sure you use this uh, level surface, you know, level it up. And then all the way back to the eye. Body, this is a green copper wire and this is 0 0.2 millimeter in thickness. Just catch that. Just make sure it's nice and flat in the on the end. That's enough. I'm just trying to catch this end gently so I can create a nice body. I'm going to want some done that. I'm going to finish with this thread. And now, here you have to be really careful, don't push it too much, pull it too much, and then use touch and turn because this kind of gets slips out. So, once you've done that, as you can see. Use touch and turn. I'm going to go all the way to the bend. Keep going and just stop around here back with open turn now again like I said you know take your time again and then create a little segment just a little, little practice with this and then that's fine. Okay, what you have to do is use another thread, and this will be um, eight or this time thinner one. And I'm gonna cut this wire. Now, what you have to do is just secure this with a few turns. I'm going to cut this off in here with this plier. And now completely secure this that's fine another now for the leg I'm using this a brown partridge 
feathered you don't need too much so get the smaller size I'll show you the size you want with the hook so it's coming up towards the bend just passing the bend so I mean even if they are a little bit longer it doesn't make any difference you know the fast flowing river they just works very well so just pull this tip out and just catch it gently and take your time again and pull this out don't worry about the little mess it'll go get the hackle plier or oh, need only just like a few turn pull these backward and then just catch it here basically I used to tie these for my river fishing but I haven't done it for a long time what I'm trying to say I'm not I haven't been in practice for a bit so if I tie a couple of these then I'll be alright so as you can see their legs coming up nice now another thing you need is a peacock feather now this is a a green color dyed green it looks really nice and uh, catch that same time here just to get a nice fluffy head so and then just a couple of turn or whoa all the way actually see once they get soaked up this it's really nice though Okay, pull this back, everything, and then we finish. And we'll do, I'll just put a little bit varnish on the head so we can have a, secure all this nicely we finish and finish off with this so as you can see I just put it in the water and see and this is how it looks you know uh, when it's soaked so there we have a copper caddis larvae um, you can call it another variation of brassy but really effective pattern in winter and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.